Tom. For the past four weeks, I was with Theo, Daddy. either here at our place or at mommy's place, and it's beautiful Mama to see how. <laughs> Beautiful to see how how Leo is so much more stable and secure again. And We are back, cold. back at home. It's a little bit cold, huh? Ka. Yeah, it was raining in the Ka. night. Now the leaves are still wet. Back home after a week in the Coffee. south. Yeah, Leo's mommies. We are Mama Vida. back at our home. Yeah, Mama Vida. Next week, mommy is back. Now we are in the mountains again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A month ago, after my grandma left to Germany, I made the decision to to support Leo in this transition. They were very close. Yeah, here we go down to the to be with him full time and like for the past four weeks I was with Leo either here at our place or at mommy's place and it's beautiful to see how <laughs> it's beautiful to see how how Leo is so much more stable and secure again and. Yeah. Again, he's almost never crying, and like when we go to a new place, he feels immediately confident and explores. And this is how I know him. So yeah, be able Papa. to see how that Tush, yeah. pays off. Yeah, yeah. There's the fluss. There's the river, huh? Then we go rein. Cold, cold mountain river. Yeah, the two color, two color leaves, huh? Red and green. That is so fascinating. Uh, Look at that. Mm. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Where I can. Essen, yeah, come on, Essen. What a beautiful leaf, huh? Mm. Two color leaf. Mm. Look at that beautiful flower, huh? Uh, you have it. Kettle. Flower, huh? Papa. Lila. Lila. Lila flower. Lila flower. Lila flower. <laughs> temple. Temple, yeah. Over there is the temple. So the temple is the end of the road? Yeah. But with walk, you can go to Batukaru Temple. Yeah. To yeah. To the mountain top of the And to, to Batukaru Summit, to the top. Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't knew that you could hike from here. That's beautiful. Surroundings of the of the land. It, it's very interesting. 1.2 hectares in in the jungle, and we're checking out what is what is close by to get a better feeling. So now we can drive down. Um, I think we walk. We walk until our scooter. Okay. I think that's easier. You can hike over there to Jatilu. Yeah, to here, around like this. Mm -hmm. mm, around like that. Mm -hmm. That was just was a 30 minute hike to the top of the, of the little road Papa. where the temple is. Yeah. Nah. nah. Yeah. Makes the scooter loud noise. And from the temple up, up there, you can hike to the top of Mount Patukaru, which is very oh nice. God. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. That's a long hike. That's a long hike. Two and a half hours to the summit. So that means fr from the land, like there's not a single house. Papa. In between Papa. the land and the top of Mount Patukaru. Hmm? Was then? Fertig, yeah. Now we arrive back at the scooter and we drive down and explore a little hidden waterfall. 
right waterfall expedition will be postponed for to, to tomorrow Leo is already heading home <laughs> lunchtime <laughs> just finished the welcome call for Custodia. I can't tell you how happy I am, friends. This space has... Oh, that's pretty bright, huh? This space has finally started. The incubator for birthing the more beautiful world. Next week, I'm gonna be in Poland and start with our first small, powerful, intimate cohort of impact entrepreneurs, parents, nature, nature lovers. Yeah, conscious and aware human beings that are determined to help birth a more beautiful world our hearts know as possible on every level. On a global level, on an individual level, on a family level, on a community level, on a business level. Like That's a container unlike any other. That's nothing that I know of is out there. I cannot put it in any box. It's not a retreat, it's not a seminar, it's not a this, it's not a vacation. It's like, yeah, it's Custodia. And we just had our first call. I connected the group. And as much as I'm excited for this journey, there is a sad part inside myself too. The part that I'm gonna be separated from my son for two weeks next week I'm gonna fly to Berlin do a little stop there and then head over to Poland I'm not gonna participate in the full three weeks in person emerging as the full group after two weeks I'm gonna fly back to Bali which is maximum I can do right now of course I'd love to spend the full three weeks with the group there but I cannot be separated from my son for three weeks that's too long Two weeks is already very long. It's a huge sacrifice I'm making right now. Yeah. We explored all the other options. We talked about flying like all together with Elena like to Europe and be there, but it's not the right thing either. Like the long flight for Leo. It's absolutely horrible. He's older. He's, he's older than two years right now, so he doesn't have this like this baby, baby bassinet where he can sleep. Like the flu, the flight is absolutely horrible. Like this long distance flight. If he would be there, I can I could not host the, re the space like properly. Um, and yeah, like it's it's the best of not very ideal options that are currently present. Yeah. I even thought about taking my grandma there with us so that he she can be with Leo but grandma's in a not not very well, well like situation right now because of her suffering that she's not with Leo so there I don't I don't feel like the stability so that when we have a workshop that it's reliable that grandma is with Leo so yeah in the end I made the decision to leave him here with Elena. We did a lot of preparation work last week. He's in a good, stable, secure um, situation right now and still. I'm sad about that and I'm excited to host Custodia. And it's a representation for me of the world we are living in. We are invited to build the bridge. The perfect situation, the perfect setting is not available. The perfect, the perfect like like let's just switch to turn the switch and we are living in paradise this is not accessible we have to deal with the current circumstances and navigate them as good as possible in order to help birth this more beautiful world yeah. that's what I'm trying to do each and every single day hmm. Hmm. and still there's this feeling inside myself that for the future, I don't want to travel to the other side of the planet to host those containers. I want to do that in my home, where Leo is present. 
24-7. And deep, meaningful, transformational work can take place while my son is fully there. Yeah. So this will be a rare opportunity <laughs> to host that in Europe. After that, full-on Bali mode with the new developments regarding the land and all the things that are emerging here. Things are pointing in, in a clear direction. The place is here. And we are inviting here each and everyone who feels the calling to come here with us. The second cohort of Custodia will take place in Bali in December. All right. Thank you for following along on our journey today. I see you tomorrow. <laughs>